Hi all, welcome to another Ask Zenla. So in this workshop, what we're gonna look at is creating templates that you can reuse. So we're gonna be doing this in Canva. Now, this technique I'm showing you now, I'm gonna be doing for a video thumbnail, but you can use it for any part of the Zenla platform. So if you wanna do course cards, that set size, you can use exactly the same method. If you wanna do backgrounds and these kind of things using Canva, again, you can use the same methods. So I'm gonna be doing it on my videos. My videos, I know the size of them, they're 1920 by 1080. So because I know the size, I can set that size in Canva and I can set up my actual document and I can set up the base template to reuse. So in this, I have a video here called Surf Dudes, Who Are We? So the first template I'll do is gonna be based on this. Now I have some of my graphics already prepared, such as the logo that I will be putting into the course card. So we're gonna jump into Canva now. This is the free version of Canva, so any of you guys can use it. If you've got the pro version, of course, you can then use more advanced features such as background removal and these kind of things. But we're gonna be using the free version. I'm gonna show you how to, how to create an eye-catching card that you can use. So you can reuse as well because it will be a template. So let's get into Canva now and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm in my Canva account, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to create a design. Now I'm gonna go down to custom size, because remember I know the size of my video, it's 1920 by 1080. So I'm gonna put in here custom size, and I'm gonna put in here 1920, this is in pixels by the way, and I'm gonna put in this 1080. That gives me HD size, and now I can create new design. So this has now set our new design up to be used. So I'm going to look for a nice surfing picture. So I'm gonna come in here and just type surfing. And this connects with uh, Pixabay, I think, inside Canva. So I can choose some really nice, you can get some from here already sort of pre-built for you. But I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna go in and uh, maybe upload my own image rather than use one of these. Or I can come down to background here and I can search in backgrounds. So I'm gonna search in backgrounds now. Uh, put surfing in there and uh, we couldn't find any backgrounds so not a problem I'm going to go to upload and I'm going to go and choose a image that I've already got on my desktop so let's go and find my surf dudes And I think I've got some good images in here. Okay, we'll just pick one of these for the sake of this video. Let's choose something like... Uh, this one, maybe. Need to put some more images in here. Let's just choose one of these. Okay, let's just choose this. So that's gonna upload in here and I can use that. I can drag that straight into here. Once you see it finish uploading here, I can just drag this straight into the, into the Canva window. Now the good thing about uploading images uh, or pulling any images in, you can make adjustments. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drag it across and bring it in that left corner and you're going to see it's going to stretch if you just drop it here it won't but if you go in here it'll just fill the canvas up so that's my image in there now i want to edit this image so if i click the image i can go into edit image and i can do some minor adjustments so i'm going to increase things like the um, brightness and just take that contrast down i might saturate it a bit more just to get a bit more blue in there and i'm going to say that's good i've done it all right so what I wanna do is I actually wanna create a block going across here so that I can create some text, some pop-out text. So I'm gonna to go to Elements now, and I'm gonna choose this free square block here. I'm gonna drag it in, and you can notice at the bottom, I can rotate it. So I'm gonna rotate this down, I'm gonna pull it up by the edges, and I'm basically going off the canvas area, and you can't see anything off the canvas area, so it's perfect. So I'm gonna put it in there, am I happy with that? Do I like that angle? Maybe I wanna switch it around a little bit, 
bring it across here. If it pops out on the canvas, just grab that edge and drag it back and drag it down there. And now I've got something that's covering this quite nicely. I think about that much is pretty good. And I can go in here with this and I can take this and I can change the color. So I'm gonna change the color to a really dark, well actually I'm gonna put it in black there like that. So now what I can do is I can actually upload a logo. So I can upload my own logo. So I'm gonna to go to upload, upload media. Then I'm gonna go and find my Surf Dudes logo, which I think will be one back from here. There it is there. And I'm gonna click open. And that's going to load in here. I'm going to drag that straight into here. And you're going to notice that it's stacking on top of the other images. Now, how this works, guys, is inside Canva, when you start laying images down, they go on top of each other. Okay, so you can change the order of things as well. So if I like demonstrate this to you, if I take this Surf Dudes logo and I right hand click, I can go send backwards. And you'll notice it's now appeared under the black. And I can send it right to the back so I can't see it. So if I hit, um, let's bring this to the front first of all, and let's right hand click and go send to the back. And you can see it's gone to the back. Now it hasn't gone to the back of the background because this is a background block, but it's actually just brought it over the top. So I can go in here and I can go bring forwards and then I can take this corner, I can bring it down in size if I want to. So I could put this in the corner and leave it there. Like that. I might actually take it down and put it in this corner to take up a bit of room there. Okay. And I'll leave it there for now. I'm going to go edit image. That's good, you know. So I'm going to take that. That looks good. And I'm actually going to do a duplicate of this image. So I'm going to take this image. I'm going to press Control C and then Control V. That'll give me a copy. Notice. And I'm going to come into the contrast for this. And I'm going to turn it right down. I'm going to turn this right down here and it's going to give me a gray version now because I've taken there if I took it that way it would be the other way so I could take this up here and see how you can play around with this and I'm going to take this now and I'm actually going to put it as a kind of little drop shadow notice I'm offsetting it I'm going to right hand click and I'm going to go send backwards and now it's kind of given me this this lovely kind of look over the top like this um, Let's just go in there and there we go. Something like that could look good. Now, um, these are two separate images, of course. You know, this one here, I can move separated from this. Now, if I want to lock these two images in, I can just drag, left hand mouse and drag, and I can actually lock them together by clicking, um, I can actually group them together by clicking group. And now, because I've done that, um, I, this is just now one block that I've grouped together. Do you see how that works? All right, guys, so next thing I wanna do is add some text. So I'm gonna go in here and we wanna label it, who are we? So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna just grab some heading text. There's some pre-made text down here if you wanna use it, but I'm gonna use this. And I come in here, it's black text. So I'm gonna change the text color to a white here. And I'm also gonna change the font type to something like maybe something a little bit more scripty let's go and have a look for something that's too that's not bad okay and let's call this who are we question mark and then I'm going to come into here and I'll make this text bigger. Now you can also make the text bigger by dragging in here, which is very cool. So now I've basically got something that I can use. So I might want to make it a bit bigger. And I might want to take that and left align it, something like that. You know, this is just demos. This is not what I'd finish with, but I just want to show you. Okay, so there we go. And I'm going to do that as a capital. 
so who are we and you'll notice in here if we go into here we can change the line spacing of this as well so we can bring it up if we want to now I really don't like that font that I've chosen I think I'd like to go for something else so I'm going to choose something like Nexus script here or that's a bit better okay so I can choose something like that let's bring this down here and take this group I'm just kind of playing around with it now just to get my design good okay I don't like that drop shadow now so I'm going to ungroup it and I'm just going to get rid of this go back into edit image set all this back to what it was and just go yeah that's good now another thing is and maybe I want to tint under here so I'm going to go back to my elements and you can see what's going to happen here I'm going to take this and I'm going to use this and I'm actually going to put a percentage on it so I'm taking this and making it nice and big so it fits on the frame and I'm going to drag it this way and I'm going to right hand click and I'm going to send I'm going to send backwards I'm going to right hand click send backwards it's gone under there so I'm now going to go to this and what I'd like to do is add an opacity to this if I'm able to So I've got transparency slider and I'm going to change that color to this and then I think I'll come in here and make it blue. Okay so I've got that kind of shining through there like that just give it a, more of a tint of blue there. So there you go so this is now a template that we've got at the right size so what I can do with this particular one is I can click come, come in here and I can click to JPEG and I can export this out at the same size so the size is 1920 by 1080 I'm going to click download and that will then download this file you can see down here and it will put it into my folder into my downloads folder so I'm going to show the folder and my little folder is going to come up now and I'll show you that so you can see my folder is there there it is but what is great about this is I can create the use this as a template so if i go back one here we're going to see in our canva account we've got this lovely design all done here who are we and i'm actually going to rename it i'm going to call this video template so you guys that have got a canva account you can set multiple ones of these up so next time if i want to produce a video cover for uh, this one learning surfing later in life this is what i'm going to call it I can really quickly now I've done all that work is I can actually write I can actually click on it like this and I can come into here and I can duplicate this slide and use it as a base so I'm going to duplicate the slide now we've got two identical slides I'm going to now change this text so this is how, once you've got it set up this is how quick it can work for you so I've got that I'm going to change the line spacing here to make it a bit wider just so that it works uh, I'm also going to maybe if I wanted to change the color let's go and change that color to a blue let's go and change this background color to something like a black I'm going to go in here and change it to a black so we got that so it stands out and I could also if I wanted to change that background image so I can come into this I'm just going to pull this out of the way I'm going to take this background image that I've got here and I can actually detach image from background or I can delete it straight out and I can go and find or upload a new image so let's go and upload another image I'm going to go to upload media I'm going to select from my device and I'm going to go in here and just choose another image quickly it doesn't really matter which one I'm going to choose this one I'm going to click open once that's uploaded I'm then going to drag this into here as a background image so let's just click this and when it's uploaded these are fairly big images by the way they take a bit of time 
So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put it in as a background image. And I'm going to take this and recover it back over. And now I've got a brand new slide learning surfing later in life. So now to export slide number or page number two, I just come to download. Again, select JPEG as my type and I select pages. I'm going to click in here and I'm not going to select all of them. I'm just going to select page two and I'm going to click done and then I'm going to click download and you're just going to get that slide now exported out. So if we look in our folder now, you're going to see that you have this other one put in here. So then, of course, I can label it in here, learning, say, learning surfing later in life, and I can repeat that process. And remember, guys, with Canva, it automatically saves. So if I cancel back out of this and I go back to home, um, I'm automatically going to have those slides in there to reuse them later. So if I click open to this again, you're going to see both slides come up and I can just keep repeating that process. So as you can see, it's a really quick way to create templates inside Canva, and this can be done for anything, you know, not just for Zenla. You might be doing Instagram posts and putting things in here for Instagram and setting up square sizes. You might have a different size graphic that you want to do for, say, a flyer or those kind of things, and you can reuse these as templates, and it really does speed up production. So just to finish this off now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually come into the media library inside Zenla and I'm going to upload this new um, thumbnail that I've got. So I'm going to go update thumbnail, I'm going to go upload custom thumbnail and I can go and find this which is all in my downloads fol folder and this one is who are we or late surfing later in life. I can click this and then I can save it. There we go, it's changed. So I jump back to the media li library now and of course I can go and change another. So I'm videoing, finding a video, and there it is, changed there. And then we can do the who are you or for that one. So I've actually got that the wrong way around, but it doesn't matter. So then, so you can see how we've done it. We've just gone in there, changed those over really quickly. So using Canva, you can actually get really good effects because you can actually use them as templates which works really well. Now there's also other text effects that you can get in here, like lots of people want to use things like um, some of these. Lots of them are pro, so if, you've got, if you are a pro user, you can use them. Um, you have things like here, lots of these are pro, that's free. So if I choose something like that, I could put that in there and then you could Type something like that, then you can change some of these things in here, like the background colors if you wanted to. And go into effects. So I could change this to a red. And there we go. So you can do all these things in here. So under effects, when you've got any text, you can go into effects and you can do things like a glitch shadow. So if I do shadow here, you can see it's put a little shadow under it and you can actually set the offset of this as well. So you notice this shadow is moving away. Uh, you can also blur it as well. So if you want a blurred shadow, you can put that under and you can change the transparency of that piece as well. And you can even change the color. So if I was to select a red, it would go into this red color now. I could bring that opacity up there. So these effects that you can do on text um, really, really quickly uh, using Canva. And of course, save them all out as templates and reuse them. So hopefully this is helping you guys. You know, we're trying to facilitate you being able to create your media as well as creating your beautiful sites and your amazing membership or courses inside of the Zendler platform. So that's another little last Zendler from us and hopefully you've enjoyed it and we'll carry on adding more features for you or more videos on different things you can do to create the media and the stuff for your sites.